Hey everybody, how's it going? So welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be talking about organizing our files in HTML and you know how that's gonna look like. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do something different. Um, so if you haven't watched any of my previous videos and this is the first video that you're watching on my channel on this series, uh, we're basically using this book right here, the head first uh, to learn HTML. But from now on, I'm gonna be, you know, uh, taking this as a template and you know, explain things in the order that they've been taught here, right? But you don't need to actually have this book if you want to, in order to follow along with my videos, right? So for example, um, after we were done with the last part, which was the A elements and the attributes, we move on to the book, the book moves on to getting organized, or getting our files organized, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. But you don't actually, we're not gonna be actually using all of these right here. But we're not going to be actually using all these pages to just to explain things, right? If you have the book, I highly recommend to get this book. Uh, if you if you have the book, I highly recommend to, to read this book. And if you don't have it, don't worry about it, right? So yeah, we're going to be talking about getting files organized in HTML and CSS. And yeah, it should be pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And make sure to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below about your own experience. You know, if you had any troubles, let me know so I can help you out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have fun. Okay, so here we are at my desktop right now, and we're just gonna make a brand new file, and we'll call it, uh, you know, it can be anything you want. We just call it the main site, right, or main web page. And uh, then we just make a new HTML file, and we'll call it index because why not? Yes. As you can see, it's completely empty and doesn't have any code in it. It's just a blank page, right? It's a blank empty page. So minimize that, open it up with code. So here we're just gonna you know write some basic stuff like hello world this one uh oh, no make a heading for it like this welcome to my Website, right? Something like that. And now here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's say uh, we have a certain part of the website, right? For, for example, this is the main page of the website, and then you know we wanna uh, have a, uh, have a link to another part. So for example, you wanna have it where uh, you know if you click on a link, the link takes you to another page. Like let's say we have, let's make it use the A element right here. And uh, click on this link, right? So let's say if you click on this link, it's gonna take you somewhere. Now here's the href attribute that we're gonna use to tell it where it's gonna take you to. So let's do this. Let's make another file. Let's just make another uh, text, and then you know, go. Let's just copy this. Okay, so here's a, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna copy and paste this. So here's a name for it for our second web page. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna save this right here. So now if we go back and refresh our web page using Control R for refreshing it, it's like, oh, I spelled that wrong. Hold on, let me change that. Um, yeah, welcome to my website. There we go. So do Control R to refresh, and here we are. Uh, welcome to my website, and uh, if you click on this link, it's gonna take you to our second web page. But here's the thing: there's nothing in our second web page. So let's let's put some stuff in there. For example, let's open that up with code as well. Let's just go, you know, um, HTML head. body and here we are we're just gonna you know, write anything we can have a title like um second web page save this then you know add something like uh, thank you like a paragraph i guess that says you know thank you for click for clicking on the link and you know we're gonna save this and we're gonna go back to our web page refresh it again and see what happened 
right? So it's like here, thank you for clicking on the link. So now here's the thing. Uh, let's say uh, we don't want it to be like this. You know, for example, this is our main web page, and we want to have our main web page in the when right, for example, when you enter the file, this we want to see this first, right? The our main web page. But you know, let's say we have you know other uh, let's say we have other you know sub uh, pages for our website. I mean, this is the main page. This have we have a bunch of other other parts for our website. Okay, so I've made our faults, and now we're gonna use them to make our web page. I've changed the name for uh, for the main page from index to main page, and now we're gonna open it up. And here's what we wanna do. We wanna organize these files right here so that they don't look like this. You know, for example, this looks a bit like we everything just you know, kind of here. You know, in the main side. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna make a new folder. You know, call it. Um, uh, and sub pages or sub web pages, right? And we're gonna move our uh, second and third web page over there, right? So once we've done that, uh, we have our image right here. We don't want to have our image right next to our, you know, normal HTML files. So we're gonna make a new folder for that as well. We call it images. In this case, it's just one, but you know, we can have as many as we want. Just cut that and put it in there. So here we go. Now we're gonna go back to code, and here's uh, here's something I want to try. Let's just try to run our web page again. You know, Control R, and nothing happens. You know, try again, nothing happens. So why is this? Let's take a look. Uh, the web page that we're pointing to using our href, right? The, we're telling our href where the link is supposed to go to, and if you click on this link, where it's supposed to go, go to. But here's the problem: it can't even run the web page. Because this doesn't even exist. This isn't something that the HF can find. So here's what we can do to fix that. Uh, let's go back to our folder. As we can see, it's not next to the main page anymore, but it's in the sub web pages uh, folder. So here's what you want to do. You want to take this, uh, the, take the name for it. Um, we paste our folder's name right here, and then just put a slash right in front of it, and it goes like this. You know, second web page, and we can even choose. You know. Which we want to uh, point to. We want to point to the second web page for this one, right? But we could even choose the third one right here and just change it. Of course, we have to. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just go back to normal for that one, right? Uh, but uh, we can just you know, make another link for our uh, third web page, like this, and then go subfolders slash third web page, like this, and you know, click. On me for the third click. Oh, so, uh, hold on, let's change that. Click to go to the third page. And let's just save that. And in this time, it should work correctly. Okay, hold on, something's wrong. So let's just open up our third web page as well. Add some stuff in here. Hello world. Click. Now let's save this. Let's have our other web page open as well. With code. Yeah, let's just save that as well. Let's just put this in a paragraph. Hold on. And yeah, now let's try to run our page again. See, it's working right. Welcome to my website. Click on the link, and of course, we should have put a BR in front of them so that they would be, you know, in different paragraphs. But, anyways, uh, if we click on this, it's going to take you to the second page right here, and if we click on it, it's going to take you to the third page. Thank you. So, yeah, that was it. Now, uh, let's say we want to do the exact opposite, you know, let's say we want to link uh, out of something, you know, we want to. Uh, we have our page in a folder and we want to link to an, something else. So for example, let's say that we want to use our third folder to link to our image. So here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to move on to our third folder. 
and we know we're gonna okay let's fix this part yeah okay now it's better uh you know we want to have image and then you know for the alt this can be nature why not uh, for the source so here's what we want to do uh, and this uh, this works for both HF and source. You know, we wanna we have our sub pages. This is our third web page, right? We wanna link to our image. So we have to go back a folder, and then go to the images, and then choose nature, right? So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna do like this. We're gonna do two dots. It's real simple. Just do two dots slash, right? So this is what we did. You can even choose where you wanna go next. Just by click on it. We did two dots, so we went back to your folder, right? And then we're gonna, you want to go and pick a folder, we're gonna pick images, and then we're gonna pick this one right here, and there you go. It's just that simple and easy. Right? So, uh, this is, uh, you can, this way you can have access to the images in our third web page. Now let's go ahead and uh, reload that. And I believe this one was a third web page. Yeah, here we are. Thank you for clicking, and this is the nature pick. Of course, you want to know, a style to make it a little bit smaller so it's you know visible fully visible when you click on it. But yeah, here we go. That's it. It's just that simple. Now here's what I want to show you. Um, so look at this right here. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to. Uh, it this shows you a folder that's right here, and you can, you want to uh, use uh, this uh, structure. You know, look at this uh, structure, and then it asks you a question. For example, if you want to go from the top 100 HTML page to the genres HTML page, how do you do that, right? So, for example, in this one, you go to the genres folder, and then you pick the genres HTML page. Let's go back and see that actually. In the top 100, you go to the genres web folder, and then you go to the genres web page, right? So you can you know. Do this yourself there. So for example, I'll help you with the next one. Top 100 HTML, and then you want to go to the logo GIF. Let's find the logo GIF first of all. Okay, it's right here. So you want to go to the images folder, and then you want to pick the logo GIF. So it should be images slash logo dot GIF, something like that. So you made it to the end of the video. First of all, I want to thank you so much for watching until the very end. And I want to ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment down below, and turn on notification for whenever I'll be uploading my videos. Lastly, again, thank you so much for watching till the very, very end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you had a good time, and I will see you next time.